Today's video is a VHS DVD and Blu-ray update for September 11, 2021, which of course means it's the 20th anniversary of the dreaded September 11th, 2001 um, attacks that happened in 2001 in New York City, as we all know. So, yep. And, of course, if you're watching, of course, for those people who are some survivors of the 9-11 attacks, you're watching this, for some of them are watching, please, we please hope you, you'll be saved. Anyways, as you can see, it's time for a movie update in which... For this update, it's going to be a big update because for this update, I have one VHS, a lot of DVDs, and one blur for this update. So, yep. Since I, So, this is going to be my biggest DVD update I ever had. So, yep. So, anyways, let's get this started. First, we're going to start with the one only VHS for this update. And this is a VHS that I order, ordered off of eBay recently and it came in the mail on Wednesday or Thursday. This is a Joan Collins Video Selections VHS release series from 1986. Basically, 1986, um, these were... This is, this is the first time I ever bought a Joan Collins um, Video Selection series from Paramount. And basically, in 1986, um... Joan Collins basically selected a few movies from Paramount Home Video for movies to be released on Home Video for the first time in 1986. A few selected, like the original Alfie, um, The Carpet Baggers, um, The Last Tycoon, and <coughs> some other ones. And as you can see, it's got a pink sticker label and a pink end label, which is pretty cool. It's a full mural from Universal Sight and Sound Video. The eighth week of 1986. <coughs> Sorry if you might hear me cough a lot in this video. So anyways, let's get on to all the DVDs, and which, these first four DVDs are DVDs that I got from my mom and dad's friends Angie on Sunday, in which she had a few more movies that she had on DVD that she didn't want, and she wanted to let me take a few, which I picked out four of them, four more of them, so here they are. I have the 2007 British version of this movie on DVD, which is from 2007. So this is the 2010 um, American remake. So why not get this one? This is a Screen Gems movie. Columbia Pictures movie, and in my opinion, this looks like one of the better Adam Sandler movies in recent years, in my opinion. I've only seen parts of this movie, and so far, it looks like a looks like one of the better Adam Sandler movies, in my opinion, that's came out recently. And here's the last DVD that I that I got from Angie's, in which she wanted to, she let me want to ha 
take home some of her movies that she didn't want. This one I had on VHS, but decided to get this on DVD for right now. <clears throat> this is on the widescreen side. Now the next one. 31 DVDs are DVDs that I got from a friend of Angie's in which a full a box full of DVDs from my one Angie's neighbors in which they didn't want their DVDs anymore. So since Angie knows I like movies, she decided to let me take home the box to see what movies they had on DVD that I could keep. And I found a total of 31 movies that I, want, that I wanted to keep from my collection on DVD. So, yep. So, next are the 31 DVDs that I got from that box of DVDs that Andy gave to me from one of her neighbors that didn't want it anymore. So, here they are. The blockbuster date is May 2nd, 2005. This is a former from Blockbuster. This next DVD was brand new sealed when I buy it, but I already opened it up. This next one's another full model from Blockbuster. January 25th, 2009. This is a Focus Features movie. This one did not came with the slipcover, but it's the Dirty Danton 25th, 20th Anniversary Edition DVD. I had this movie on VHS, but that tape broke, so half threw it out, and I finally got another copy, which is the DVD copy. This is a two-disc set. This is another movie I had on VHS, but now I got it back in the collection, which is a DVD copy. This is a Hollywood Pictures movie. And the Alamo is a Touchstone Pictures movie. Originally purchased from Best Buy for twenty dollars, but I got this DVD for free because, like I said, this was given given to, as for a box full of DVDs from my 
mom and dad's friend Angie's neighbors that didn't want it anymore. I have No Country for All Men on DVD. I think I might get Becoming Jane sometime. This is the third film in the Hannibal Lecter movie series. The 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 other the first the first one is <laughs> excuse me, but the first one is Manhunter from 1986. The second one, Silence of the Lamps from 1991. This one's from 2001, and the and the neck and the fourth one's Red Dragon from 2002. And there's also Hannibal Rising in 2007, but I'm not sure about that one. It's an MGM film co-made by Universal, which is interesting because the Silence of the Lambs, the previous film, was made by Orion, and Manhunter was produced by Dino De Laurentiis Corporation Films. But MGM bought Orion, so they had the rights to the Hannibal Lecter stuff, I believe. And and since I have this one, um. I might have to get I I might try to get the other um Hamble Lecter movies except for Hamble Ryzen since I heard a lot of people didn't like that one Had this on VHS as well, but I decided to get it on DVD because the VHS copy is kind of better days. Sadly, this DVD is only in full screen for right now. And apparently, this is the only DVD copy release of this movie. I still don't know if Warner Archives is going to release this movie on DVD because I don't think they make DVDs anymore. But they do for Blu-rays, but I don't know. Blockbuster, October 2nd, 2005. This is a Sony Pictures Classics release, movie release. This is a Chinese movie with English subtitles. And it also has the English dub. And this, is a par and this movie is a, is a parody of Kung Fu, Kung Fu movies. A lot of Kung Pao Enter the Fist, which I might, which I might try to get that movie sometime. Since I have this for right now, it's another blockbuster formal rental. This next TV is brand new sealed when I bought it. This is a four film pack. 
had these movies on, had these movies on VHS, but decided to get these on DVD for right now. Part of the four film favorites series. Disc 1 is Side A is the first Lethal Weapon, and Side B is Lethal Weapon 2. Both are director's cuts. S disc 2, side, side A is Lethal Weapon 3, director's cut, and the other side is Lethal Weapon 4. And which, since this is a flipper disc, unfortunately, Lethal Weapon 4 does not have the features. So, I might try to get Lethal we Weapon 4 on DVD separately, just for the features. Because I like special features as well. And next we are three our next three are three more from Morel from Blockbuster DVDs. December 17th, 2006. This movie and and this is a Weinstein Company movie. This movie was originally released by MGM. Only theatrical and rights. December 2nd, 2007. This movie and this movie is released by MGM. It was it was made by I think it was originally made by Element Films and Rivley D Media and I guess MGM bought the film for distribution. October 12, 2003, so printed the day after my third birthday, October 11, 2003. This next year was brand new sealed when I bought it. This is a Regency Enterprise movie released by Warner Brothers when they were celebrating their 75th anniversary. I do, I do know my dad likes this movie, so why not check this movie out? Blockbuster... Uh, December 16, 2007. This is a... This movie is... This movie is... This is a Revolution Studios movie released by Columbia Pictures. Don't feel like showing that Blockbuster ad. Had this movie on VHS as well. This is this is a Warner Brothers movie that Alcon Air this is an Al Alcon Air team movie released by Warner Brothers. This is on the widescreen side. Columbia Pictures movie. another fumeral from Blockbuster.
This next CD is brand new sealed when I buy as well. And this is another movie I have on VHS. I also do have the original 1954 version of Sabrina on VHS as well. May 3rd, 2009. This is another former album from Blockbuster. This is a Columbia Pictures movie. The blockbuster date is May is April 28, 2003. So this, so I guess this is probably the last DVD that I got for this update. That's a formal from Blockbuster. Yeah, there's a lot of DVDs in this update that are formal from Blockbuster. It's on the widescreen side. Columbia Pictures movie. New Line Cinema film that this is when New Line Cin Warner Brothers bought New Line Cinema. Has an ad for Las Vegas, which is pretty cool, even though this already expired. Finally, here's the last DVD that I got from that box of DVDs that my Angie gave to me from her neighbors that didn't want it anymore, which I'll quit saying that since it gets pretty annoying. Screen Gems movie. The next DVD is a DVD I got off Amazon.com um, earlier this week. And this movie I had on DVD, but it was pretty old, so I wanted to get a new copy. This was brand new as well. So I got myself a new copy of Grease on DVD, so this needs no introduction. Except it's a classic musical. Definitely better than that. Than those stupid high school musical movies. And the last set of DVDs and the last DVDs I got for this update are five DVDs that I got that I got from Gameplay last night. And by the way, some of the other DVDs I got from those boxes were DVDs that I didn't want, so I decided to sell them to Gameplay and Pat's Records. Columbia Pictures movie. This is a 2013 re-release by Warner Brothers. 
But I'm sure this DVD will still have the same content as the 2012 DVD from Paramount. This movie's from Open Road Films, but the DVD is released by Universal. And here's the last DVD for this update, which is another movie I have on VHS by Saigon on DVD. This is an MGM film. And this is a 2006 reprint from 20th Century Fox. But the DVD itself is still the original 2004 DVD from MGM. And finally, here's the one and only Blu-ray for this update, which I got these, which I got this at gameplay last night, along with the five DVDs. This and this DVD and the Blu-ray itself is a 2017 reprint. But the disc is self-sold from 2013. And that's it for this big, this brand new and big VHS DVD and Blu-ray update for September 11, 2021. Hope you guys like this big movie update. And see you guys later.